after having discussed bcd to xs3 code converter here in this lecture we should discuss bcd to gray code converter now we have the bcd representation the 4 bit representation for 0 to decimal 9 as 0 0 0 0 to 1 0 0 1 now let's write its equivalent gray code. So we know how to convert binary to gray. Write the first binary digit as it is and take the XOR. So G2 is B3 XOR B2 which is 0. G1 is B2 XOR B1 which is 0. And G0 is B1 XOR B0 which is 0. The next one G3 is B3. Next 0 XOR 0 is 0. 0 XOR 0 is 0, 0 XOR 1 is 1. Next, G3 is B3, 0 XOR 0 is 0, 0 XOR 1 is 1, 1 XOR 0 is 1. Next, G3 is B3, 0 XOR 0 is 0, 0 XOR 1 is 1, 1 XOR 1 is 0. Next, 0, 0 XOR 1 is 1, 1 XOR 0 is 1, 0 XOR 0 is 0. Next, I have 0, 0 XOR 1 is 1, 1 XOR 0 is 1, 0 XOR 1 is 1. Next, have a 0 here, 0 XOR 1 is 1, 1 XOR 1 is 0, 1 XOR 0 is 1. Next, write a 0 here, 0 XOR 1 is 1, 1 XOR 1 is 0, 1 XOR 1 is 0. Next, 1, 1 XOR 0 is 1, 0 XOR 0 is 0, 0 XOR 0 is 0. Next, the first bit is 1, 1 XOR 0 is 1, 0 XOR 0 is 0, 0 XOR 1 is 1. So we have the equivalent 4-bit gray representation for the BCD 0, 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0 for the BCD code that is fr starting from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 0, 0, 1. Now to design the BCD to gray code converter, I need to get the most simplified expression so that I can implement G3, G2, G1 and G0. Now for that let us consider four variable K map so that we'll be able to simplify and get the most simplified expressions. So let's try to find the most simplified expression for G3. To find the most simplified expression for G3 let me put the values here. So for the values B3, B2, B1, B0 varying from four zeros to one zero zero one I have the output defined by this column G3 so I have zero 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 and zero next I have zero 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 the next four zeros next I have two ones and all the remaining we consider as don't care so here we can combine all these eight so therefore the simplified expression would be so therefore the simplified expression for G3 would be so here if we observe B2 gets eliminated B1 and B0 also gets eliminated because they are in complementary so G3 is nothing but equal to B3 so this is the first uh, expression what we get next let's find the simplified expression for G2 now you have 0, 0, 0, 0, 4 zeros. Next I have all 1s. So 1, 1 and then I don't care for the remaining. So now let's combine these 8 and let me combine these 8. So when I combine these 8, I get, so here you find that it is B3. And when I combine these 8, B3 is in complementary, so we get B2. So the expression of G2 is B3 or B2. Next for G1, I have 0, 0, 1, 1, and then I have 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and the remaining are don't care. So combine these four and these four. So to find G1, so here if you observe these two rows, B3 is in complementary, so I have B2. And here B0 is in complementary, so we get B1 bar. Plus for these four, if I consider the first row and the fourth row, B3 is in complementary, so we get B2 bar. 
and then consider the third and the fourth column b0 is in complementary so i get b1 so it is b2 b1 bar plus b2 bar b1 this is nothing but b2 xor b1 so this is g1 next to find the value for g0 i have 0 1 1 0 next i have 0 1 1 0 again and next you have 0 1 and the remaining is considered as don't care so i can combine these four and these four so g naught is is nothing but so here b3 and b2 are in complementary so we have b1 bar b naught plus b1 b naught bar which is nothing but b1 xor b naught so we have all the four expressions so let me list them down g3 equals b3 g2 is b3 plus b2 or b2 we have g1 which is equal to b2 xor b1 and similarly g0 is b1 xor b0 now we need to implement g3 g2 g1 and g0 using gates so let me draw four parallel lines b3 b2 b1 and b0 and what do we observe so we have b3 b2 b1 and b0 g3 is nothing but b3 so this is g3 g2 is b3 or b2 so pass it through a two input or gate we get g2 g1 is b2 x or b1 so b2 and b1 pass it through a two input x or gate this is g1 and g0 is b1 x or b0 so pass b1 and b0 to a through pass b1 and b0 through a two input x or gate we get g0 so this is the realization of a b c d to gray code very simple g3 is b3 g2 is b3 or b2 g1 is b1 x or b2 and g0 is b1 x or b0 so in the previous lecture we have gone through the conversion of bcd to xs3 and here we have gone through the conversion of bcd to gray code and we have also implemented it using logic gates so do not forget to like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and click on the i icon or go through the playlist digital electronics to view all the other videos in digital electronics and thanks for watching